Hi! Welcome to the crochet with me. So we are exactly one week from Christmas. Today, one week from Christmas. Also, when this goes out, Christmas is already gonna have happened. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, okay? Um, I just can't show what I'm making before Christmas because my friends and family watch my videos. So this is gonna be what my week looks like leading up to Christmas. Finishing everybody's crochet projects, um, crochet gifts, I mean, sewn gifts, wrapping, a lot of last minute crocheting, a lot of last minute crocheting Etsy orders that you guys um, ordered for Christmas gifts this year that I need to get out to. So really this week is just going to be crocheting non-stop, a lot of hand pain, a lot of hopefully joy. But <laughs> I'm a little worried because I have like five things five or six things I still need to crochet for gifts and I'm going out of town immediately after Christmas so I have to get all those Etsy orders done and I have three mice in a suitcase orders to get out which those take forever they're huge and four um, hats to get out so that on top of gifts I'm a little worried I had a stress rash two days ago because of how stressed I am but Jasper is literally like dying for love following me around the house all day today I just helped Dylan uh, sew something and it is nighttime I'm tired I spent all day editing and doing things he is so spoiled and that's how I like it um, so I figured let me go show you everything I've already made I didn't wait to the last minute for everything Although I did do a lot of that stuff like yesterday. Okay, we're in the sewing room slash podcast room. Um, but I want to show you everything that I've already made. Um, we'll start with, I sewed these pot holders for my grandpa. Um, he lives in Arkansas and he loves to fish. He's a huge fisher. So I'm going to mail those to him for Christmas. Um, I got obsessed with making makeup bags, so I just want to show you the makeup bags I've made. So, a lot of the people in my family are receiving makeup bags. Um, so, this is my Aunt Shauna's makeup bag. Her favorite color is black, so I did this black. It's black on the inside, too. I made this green one for my cousin Bailey, because this is her favorite color. And the inside is actually this, like marble green color so i think i'm gonna like stuff stuff inside them before i wrap them so they keep their like boxy shape i made this makeup bag for my grandma judy i made this makeup bag cousin's girlfriend caitlin this is her bag the inside is like a fun cream color she likes pastels and neutrals so and her zipper is actually a vintage zipper, so that's kind of cool. Um, I made this shark one for Dylan. Dylan requested a shark one specifically, and I just did like a gray zipper. I just learned how to make these, by the way, and I'm kind of obsessed, if you can't tell. But I also made this mushroom one for my cousin Connor's girlfriend as well. As you can tell, the women in the family are getting makeup bags from me for Christmas um, along with a bunch of other stuff and then you guys have probably already seen this I'll put a TikTok of me wearing it but this is the hexa cardigan yeah I'm just gonna show you the TikTok of me wearing it but this is the hexa cardigan that I crocheted for my mom she requested this one I made this jewelry holder for my cousin's girlfriend as well Everybody's getting like a makeup bag and a jewelry um, hanger thing. So I made that one and I made this one for my cousin Bailey because this is her favorite color. I also, I had a lot of fun with my laminator, my laminator and some pressed flowers. And I made a bunch of laminated bookmarks, like laminated flower bookmarks. I'll show you the pictures I took of these. They're a lot better than what I'm holding up. But yeah, so I made those. There's the pictures of them. So everybody's, the girls are going to get those too. And then I also have this uh, ski mask is for my cousin Gavin. It's just like with just one, the lighting keeps changing, but it just has one eye hole on it. 
uh, he asked for this because he works on a tractor early in the morning and he says it's freezing. So he needed something where he could still see, but his mouth and like head was warm. So, and then I also have these fun, simple headbands as well. So that's all I have done. That's literally all I have done. That's it. And it's not a lot. And I have literally so much more to make. And looking at it all right now it makes me stressed because I realized how much I really have left to make. So, so I sat down to crochet and I just realized my pattern is on that iPad right there. Um I can't I can't kick him off. I I've already been crocheting non-stop the past couple days like the stuff i showed you is part of it plus like etsy orders have been insane but i found my compression gloves which i know i've literally excuse me excuse me excuse me that is not your pen i don't know what it is he's like attached at the hip to me today i don't know why but i mean i'll take it i'll take the extra love but he's driving me insane so I know how I always preach wearing your compression gloves. Well, I haven't been. I found them to wear them to right now. Start wearing them because I have so much to crochet. I'm going to be crocheting all day, every day for the next week. And my hands already hurt. Like, my hands are aching and I haven't even started crocheting today. I haven't even crocheted at all today. And my hands are already, like, aching. So I'm going to put these on. Hopefully that'll help. Um... You know that red ski mask I showed you? Okay, we have to make a green one for my other cousin in this, like, dark green color. So that's what I'm going to start with. The red one took me, I would say, like, five, six hours to do. I started it, like, late one night. I think I spent, like, two hours on it, and then I spent, like, three hours on it the next day. But I'm going to try and get this entire thing done before I go to bed. So, so we can at least mark one thing off the list before I go to bed tonight. So start to finish. I want to see how long it takes me actually. So it's 6.15 when I'm starting. I did it. I finished, finished the ski mask and it's 10 p.m. I have to go pack up the December giveaway to send out in the morning um, to the winner. And then I'm going to go to bed. So I'll see you after work tomorrow. It's after work the next day. Um, I just ate dinner. I got done filming the podcast with Dylan. So now it is time to sit my ass down and crochet because I have done zero crocheting today and it's 7 p.m. <laughs> so I'm gonna check my list and see what I need to crochet still. So it looks like I need to crochet a jewelry hanger in like a neutral color, like a cream color. So I think I'm gonna do it in this color. It's like a cream white. So I have to make a jewelry hanger. But I have to make two, I'm behind on two jewelry hangers. So I'm gonna try and make both of them. Maybe? I don't know, I think it takes me like a good two hours to make one. So if I can get this one done by like 9, then I can probably make the second one and get it done by like 11, maybe. I need to get all my gifts done like ASAP so I can finish Etsy orders. <sighs> Anyways, it's day two, okay? It's day two. So I'm just going to go. I think I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to watch Walking Dead while I make this. But I will check in with y'all. Oh, I got the chills. I'll check in with you guys later. I am back. 10 p.m. I got Caitlyn's done. Um, it's very cute. I just need to uh, steam it because it's obviously like wrinkly. So I need to steam it and also hot glue the wood on the top like I did with the other ones. But I'm so tired. I'm so tired. And then um, this is one of the Etsy orders. I need to finish. I sewed this side and then I need to sew this side and get it all done and wrapped up for an Etsy order. That's what I'm going to do. I wish what I'm going to do is I'm going to go wash my face because I am so tired. So I'm going to try and like wake up with some cold water. And then after that, I'm going to um, hot glue it and steam it 
and then pack that Etsy order. And then depending on what time it is, I might start the next jewelry holder tonight, but my hands hurt so bad. So everything I just listed is like my break from crocheting. So my hands can kind of chill a little bit. And then hopefully I can at least start the jewelry hanger tonight and get like some leeway on it. Um, but if that doesn't happen, then like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so tired. Thanks for being like my uh, little video diary. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go wash my face now. Tell me why I just got a Gypsy Rose edit That means it's time to go to bed. I washed my face. I know, jump scare. The bags are insane. They are me, they are part of me. Um, I just like hot glued, I just hot glued the jewelry hanger and I'm waiting for it to dry or cool. Dry, girl, it's not wet. I'm waiting for it to cool. And then I'm gonna go very quietly find the steamer so I can steam it. Washing my face did wake me up a bit. I do feel a little more alive. <laughs> I just remembered I didn't edit Vlogmas for today. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. I have to go. So I made a tutorial for this jewelry hanger and at the end I literally said you guys should steam it to make it not wrinkly. And someone was like, it's so wrinkly. And I was like, bestie, steam it. Literally, here's the proof. Steamed? She's gorgeous. She's she's perfect. She's ready for the wall. So this is done. It's steamed and it's hot glued. So now I'm going to go pack that Etsy order um, to send tomorrow. And then it'll probably be like 11 o'clock by then. Okay, this is how far I got on the jewelry hanger that I'm making. I'm going to bed. It's past midnight. So I'm just gonna be happy with where I'm at and I'm gonna pick it back up in the morning. We're getting back to it. I am gonna get back to making the jewelry hanger right now. And uh, I haven't done anything today. So I'm gonna start the jewelry hanger. Well, I'm gonna finish it right now. But I'm watching Gossip Girl. I'm trying to watch shows that I haven't seen a billion times. So I started Gossip Girl on episode two. Also, I don't understand the hype around Chuck Bass. Like, he wears a scarf, and he's like always dressed in like highlighter yellow. And he tried to do something illegal with a girl. So, why do we like him? I had to stop watching Gossip Girl. I'm like fully convinced the only people who like Gossip Girl are like rich straight people. Like, I, I don't know. I can't watch it. I got like three episodes in. Although the early 2000s music, like it's a bop, obviously. But I'm like, I don't relate to any of this. Like private school, who's wearing like the most high fashion thing. Like, I don't really, where's the drama? Where's the spice? Like, I don't care. Like what? I hate when a show is drama filled, obviously, but it's nothing I care about. Like, why would I care? Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Like, none of it draws me in. So I stopped watching it, and I, now I'm just rewatching the 100. So, back to my roots of rewatching things I've seen a billion times. Um, I've been watching a lot of Walking Dead recently, and I need a little break. So I'm watching the 100, but. I'm not really satisfied, so I'll probably change it. I don't know. I think I might watch um, Priscilla. I think it's on Xfinity now. So I think I might uh, rent that one and watch it just for shits and gigs because I'm kind of curious. I know nothing about Elvis Presley or Priscilla, so I was like, eh. But I was going to watch it, and I went to go watch it, and then I was like, I heard it was good, but I also heard it's like kind of sad and a little annoying, so I'm like, eh, eh. But sign me up 
for the 100 drama because nothing I like more than some fantasy, some romance, some sci-fi. I have been thinking about Vampire Diaries a lot. Oh, we're on the floor because I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up so that I can um, hot glue this. I finished the, the black one. She's still wrinkly because she still needs to be steamed, but I hot glue before I steam, so I'm waiting for the glue gun to warm up. And then I'm going to hot glue this, and then I'm going to go steam it, and then I think we're going to um, work on a mouse suitcase because I got a gift done, so now I'm going to work on an Etsy order until I go back to working on gifts. I think I only have a couple gifts left. Let me check to see how many gifts I have. Okay, so after this one's done, so we're almost done. I'm done with almost done with gifts, and then we just have all the Etsy orders. And that's a lot. I have a lot to get done. We still have two more hats and um, three mouse in a suitcase that are not done. So we're going to be doing a lot of mouse orders after this. It's raining. I love when it rains. Also, I just finished one piece. I just got done finishing this. Um, well, I finished steaming the jewelry holder and put it away, but I finished one piece of the suitcase. And now it's time to cut the foam board. So I'm borrowing um, Dylan's stuff to cut my foam board. But I think I'm gonna cut them for all three suitcases so I only have to do this one time. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm hoping I have enough because this is the only foam board that I have. I measured everything for all three and we have just enough. All of the foam board pieces are cut. I got one half of a suitcase done. I'm giving my hands a break and I'm gonna edit the podcast. I haven't picked up the camera once today, um, but it is the end of the day and I am gonna pack Etsy orders. I'm just gonna show you everything I crocheted. I finished three hats. We've got this Tomo hat and then two Nami hats. So I'm just gonna pack those right now. But I just got done watching the new Hunger Games movie like the Ballad of Songbird Snake movie. I want those three hours of my life back. Put the word musical in the title if you're gonna make Rachel Zegler sing like 27 songs in the entire goddamn movie. Because if the word musical was in the title, I would not have watched it. Also, why is that goddamn movie so long? And I also feel like it was supposed to basically like explain why Snow is the way he is, but I don't even think it really did that because it didn't really make any sense like it didn't like okay so i don't know also i couldn't get over rachel zegler's accent and like i i just i'm never gonna watch it again also there was no blood in the entire movie because i think they wanted to keep their pg-13 rating which was so stupid because you have a movie and i remember there being blood in the other hunger games movie so that doesn't make any sense anyways it's stupid. It was dumb. Like, imagine a bunch of fight scenes with swords and, like, spears and shit and no blood. It's, like, weird. <sighs> Anywho, I'm a hater. I hated it. I'll probably never watch it again. I gave it one star on Letterboxd, so. Zero out of ten, do not recommend that you see that movie. But, honestly, I just haven't filmed that much today because I just haven't really been in a filming mood. I mean... I crocheted a bunch of Etsy orders, that's about all I did today. Like, I sat in bed and I just crocheted non-stop. And it is 9.30pm, I'm gonna pack these orders and I'm gonna go to bed. Um, although I did, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Or I'm gonna lay in bed and read and fan fiction. That's my update. I don't really have much left for you. <laughs> Busy weekend, but I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so I just woke up. Today is the day before Christmas Eve, so it is the last day of getting all of the gifts done, okay? Um, I can still work on mouse orders tomorrow and on Christmas because they don't ship out until Tuesday, but as far as gifts go, I need to have everything done and wrapped tonight because I see family tomorrow. So, let me show you, oh princess, let me show you what we kind of have left. Okay, uh, so I bought, um, for my cousins, I bought 
these really cute like Burt's Bees um, Christmas line uh, chapstick. Now I did this because I, they, they each got one so there's three of them. I did this because I'm going to crochet chapstick holders keychains. I'll show a picture here as in spell, but I need to crochet three of those. Okay, that's on our list. I'm gonna crochet this. I can't say it out loud because the person it's for is in the bedroom right next to me. So I'm gonna make that today too. And then we're gonna wrap everything because I have not wrapped anything. It's all just sitting in my craft room so that it doesn't get cat hair on it, you know? So it's all just sitting in there, but I need to wrap it all tonight. I have plenty of wrapping paper I got from Joann's. And so that's what I'm doing tonight. But I don't want to wrap anything until everything's made. So if I have time, I also want to make this. But I don't think I'm going to have time to make it. Oh, and then the other thing we need to do, it's not crochet related, but I bought some digital prints that I need to print out and frame um, off Etsy and that I haven't printed out yet. So I need to do that too. Now that I talked a lot, let's go ahead and actually start crocheting. I need to find colors that are going to go with the people I'm making these um, chapstick holders for because the the bags I showed you earlier you know like the sewn the sewn makeup bags that's for the same people I'm making the chapsticks holders for so and I'm trying not to buy more yarn so I'm kind of just like going through the yarn I have I'm gonna do this light pink because her makeup bags light pink so Bailey likes green Actually, I just realized I need to get a pattern for this really quick and see what yarn weight the pattern is before I pick colors. So let me find a pattern. Okay, so I found this pattern on Etsy. It's by Not Mama Made. We're going to make these specifically because I have those hooks with like the uh, little spot on them. I have those hooks, so... This pattern uses those, so I'm like, okay, perfect, perfect. I don't have to figure out how to attach it. So, it looks like she used weight 4 yarn, which I have plenty of. So, I'm going to pick out weight 4 yarn for everybody, and I'm going to find the keychains. I know I have them, I just don't know where they are, so I have to find them. Colors are done. Um, I think the keychains could... Oh my god, look at her. She's just laying... Are you just being a little sweetie pie? I say that knowing that she literally just got into a huge fight with my other cats and I had to pull them apart. Okay, so I have this box that's falling apart under my bed. I just found the quilt clips that I yelled at Dylan for stealing from me. And I just found them. I'm gonna go apologize really quick. <laughs> okay, I just found what I was looking for. I have the same um, keychain things that she uses in those videos, so these things. Uh, and I'm just gonna pull three out, because that's how many I'm making. I literally, this is why I love, I'm to the part in like being a crafter where I have everything I need. I picked something, I have everything. I know I have it, like I just know I have it. Because I've done so many different crafts that I have a little bit of everything. And I love that. I love that I can pick something and be like, yeah, I definitely have that obscure looking keychain. I have 50 of them from something I did three years ago. So, love that for me. But we've got three of them. I'm piling it all together because I'm going to make my stuff downstairs. Because my mom's wrapping presents and she's watching Christmas movies. And I want to watch Christmas movies too. So... I'm making a little pile of everything I need to take downstairs with me to finish gifts. So that's, I'm gonna make those downstairs. The other thing is the thing I showed you earlier that I can't talk about out loud. And I know I have a book. It may or may not have a pattern for what I'm trying to make. I think it's right there. I literally just have piles of books and I love that for me. But every once in a while, the one I need is in like the back row bottom of the back row i'm just sure it's in here i think i saw it ah i'm gonna drop it okay 
Yep, it is. All right. I bought this book a long time ago. And look what's right there. The animal we need. So, I'm going to find it in the book. See if I should buy another pattern or if I like the way this one looks. Okay. Mmm. It's very cute. Worst weight yarn. Okay, I have that. I have the eyeballs and everything. This is what we're going to make. It's a great white. But I think I'm going to use this pattern because I already have it in this book and I haven't used it yet. So, okay. Postmark. Now we need to find these colors. Pretty sure I have those colors though. What do we think? Look. I don't know. It's like a bluish gray and that's like a gray gray. It's like the same gray. Okay. I think we're gonna go with gray. I feel like blue is more fun, but like realistically, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, 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 I don't know. So we've got that and this. We just need some stuffing and eyeballs. So where are my eyeballs? I know I have some. Eyeballs. Okay, I've got the stuffing. Now I'm going to head downstairs with all my stuff and get to crochet. That pattern was very simple, very beginner friendly, and it made these really cute chapstick holders. So I got everybody's chapstick holders done, and now I'm going to start on the last gift I have to make. But I want to show you guys how they turned out before I put them away. Okay, I finished it. It's done, but it looks so weird, and I like I literally spent so much time trying to figure out why it looks so weird. And my parents were like, it looks like a dolphin. And I don't know why. I don't know what I did wrong. It looks weird. I know it does, but I'm still gifting it. So everything is wrapped. Everything is wrapped. It's official. I'm ready for Christmas. Okay. That really concludes the week of crocheting. Um, I'm probably going to work on some more mouse orders, but I want to get this video edited. So I'm going to end it here. Um, by the time you guys see it, Christmas already happened. So I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Um, hope you were able to see your families and have a good new year. Um, but other than that, subscribe if you enjoyed, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more from me. Um, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a video. And let me know in the comments how your guys' Christmas was. Bye!